What's going on everybody ladies and gentlemen Simply Pops here and today I'm going to be showing you guys yet again my iOS 14 acoustic home screen setup. Now some of these widgets are familiar like we have Dawn, we have Colorful Widget. I covered these on the last iOS 14 acoustic home screen uh, setup but we have some new things but I have some new things I want to share with you guys. Now first things first the way I got my icons I went on a website called iSkin um, I also showed this on the last video too. And all it is is just a profile that you install and all the icons will automatically be there without you having to create a shortcut for each individual application. And I think if you just wanna have an easy solution to customize your iPhone, I think this is very practical. So Instagram, I can tap on that. It'll do the redirect to the shortcuts and then open up the Instagram app. All right, I'm in the light box here now. There is one widget I want to share with you guys called favorites and it's going to allow you to add in your contacts on your home screen. So yeah, that's that's favorites. That's the only widget I discover and then when you put it into dark mode, you should be able to have it all dark and it's going to pop right out. All right, so this is how the green one looks. It's just going to be all green. Now we got that out the way, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add in blanks to your home screen just to kind of match with the aesthetics, customization purposes. So what you want to do, I'm going to throw a link in the description to this. I'm going to go into Safari and I'm going to switch tabs here. And I'm going to go into this website here. This is the official Apple website. You're going to need to install Test Flight. It's an application. And then you're going to tap on Start Testing. Now, uh, the blank icons is not exactly in the App Store, but you're going to need to get this Test Flight app. This is, this is what's used to test out applications before it launch up onto the App Store. Um, and once you install that, you go back. And you want to tap on start testing and it's going to automatically come up with this you just tap on accept um, and then you should be good to go now once you tap on open it's going to kind of guide you on what to do now what you want to do you want to take a screenshot so you want to take a screenshot of an empty page so put it in jiggle mode tap and hold an empty space or an icon and then you can go all the way to the end the last page and then take a screenshot. Take a screenshot of your blank um, home screen. And then you wanna go back into the application, which is uh, ClearSpace, there's really no app name to it. And you wanna select screenshot. And then you wanna tap on the screenshot that you just did. I think it was this one. Yeah, so it's gonna say success. And then you wanna refresh all widgets. Now you're just gonna put into jiggle mode, tap on empty space, tap on the plus icon on the top left and then you wanna look for that empty space. So small clear space, we have it there. And of course you could do medium and large, whatever you like. But in this case, I'm gonna do medium and boom, voila. So you have empty space for a more minimalistic home screen acoustic design. Now, I'm curious to see how that large space is gonna look like. So let me remove that and let's add on a large space. And we're gonna add on that. So yeah, it looks really like it blends in perfectly. And that's the thing, it's so tedious moving like widgets to another screen because it moves your apps on a whole nother screen. So be patient with this when you're customizing your applications. And I gotta say, iOS 14 out here changing lives, man. Because um, there's an icon designer, um, it was featured on MKBHD. He made over $100,000 on these icon packs. and. It's just amazing on how iOS 14 is able to pretty much same, change some people's lives. $100,000, that's a lot. One more thing I wanna show you guys. Normally when you open up an application using these custom icons, it's gonna just redirect you to the Instagram app, but it gotta launch up the shortcut application first. So it just, it's just gonna jump next and then, you get what I'm saying? So it can get a little annoying and it's that little bit of time. I'm gonna show you guys how to create shortcuts or create an icon without having it to redirect to the application or to redirect to the shortcuts. So yeah, it's very simple. Now something important, you gotta launch up the settings, you gotta go into shortcuts right here, and you wanna allow untrusted, sh <laughs> untrusted shortcuts. That's very important because in order to do this, there's profiles, there's all the shortcuts, but it's completely safe though, no need to worry. All right, so now here's the shortcut. You wanna tap on get shortcut, I'm gonna throw a link in the description to this. And I do have the shortcut already installed, but just to show you guys how the process look, this is what's gonna come up. And then you gotta go all the way down until you see add untrusted shortcut. Now I already have it added, so there's no need for me to do this, 
but once you tap on add, you should be good to go. You wanna launch up the shortcuts application. If you have to do an update, accept it, do the update first, and you should be good to go. And you're gonna have these toggles right here. You have search and app store, system apps, and we have the custom app where you can identify with his ID. That's a little complicated. We're just gonna search it up in the app store. So let's say for example, I want to customize uh, Snapchat. Let's do Snapchat or matter of fact, Instagram. So we search up Instagram and then it's gonna come right up here. We're gonna tap on Instagram and we're gonna allow that or okay it. And then boom, you can change your icons right from here. You can use a default application, which was the point, or you could choose from your photos. Now I don't have any icon bundles, but um, but hey, you guys can really think outside the box here. You could use any image you like as an icon. And in this case, let's use the, let's do, let's use this. This is a Big Sur wallpaper. And I believe it is completed, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay, we gotta tap on done. Oh, it was asking me for the icon labels. Now you can remove the icon labels as you choose so, as you wish. Oh, and then there's a profile. This is my first time doing this, guys. So you're gonna tap on allow, and then you wanna go back into your settings. And then in the settings, you gotta go into either profile downloaded. If you don't see that, go into general, go into profiles, and then go into Instagram icon or whatever application you, you uh, you create it, you wanna tap on install on the top right, enter in your passcode, and then tap on install, and install on the bottom, and then tap on done, and now you have that icon right here. So now when you launch up Instagram, your custom made Instagram icon is automatically gonna open up the Instagram app. No need to redirect it to shortcuts and then Instagram, it just saves a lot more time. But I like the other way better where you could just get all your icons right then and there with the profiles. But if you really want those custom, custom icons without any redirects, this is the best way to do it or the only way to do it. Now it can be a challenge searching for your icons, but the best thing I could say is just go to Pinterest, go to Instagram, go to like a, a image searcher uh, or even Google image and just search up the application that you want. So in this case, I want Instagram. This site is good, flaticon.com. This is pretty cool. So let's say I want this. And oh, you gotta register and download. And icon label, I'm actually gonna have it blank. All about that simplicity style. <laughs> and we're gonna tap on done. Tap on done again. And we're gonna allow. We're gonna install that profile. And that's the only thing I would say. You have to install a profile every time you want to install an icon. So it can get a little annoying doing that. I still rather have an icon bundle with the profile. It's so much easier, so much simpler. And I don't mind the redirects, honestly, because it takes like maybe one second, even though that one second does make a difference. But hey, you still have the OG application and you can still search up in Spotlight if you choose so. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. If you guys did, I'd appreciate it with a thumbs up. Make sure you guys comment down below if you have any questions or concerns. Make sure you guys also subscribe with notifications on and follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Simply Pops. Until next time, guys, have a simple day.